My goal is to change the way we identify brain disorders and change the way we treat them. More traditional psychiatry research starts from the point of saying, okay, these people tend to look and behave similarly, and so we will use a diagnostic term like schizophrenia or bipolar disorder or depression or autism. My work is focused on identifying more specific conditions that are real diseases like Fragile X syndrome, which is a big risk factor for autism, and 22Q deletion syndrome, which is a risk factor for schizophrenia. I want us to go from treating symptoms, which is what we're doing now, and, and doing better than actually we've ever done before, but I want us to treat diseases. Awesome. My best friend growing up committed suicide. Was that a watershed moment? Did I say, oh, now I'm going to become a psychiatrist? No, I don't think so. Did it make me more motivated to try and understand why really bad outcomes like that can occur? Yeah, probably so. I intended to be a geneticist. So I was doing some initial genetics and actually seeing patients in genetic clinics. and I wanted to do a little imaging project and um, I couldn't quite talk the imaging expert at the time at Johns Hopkins into doing this project um, with me. And so I said, how hard can this be? And so I did it myself. And that kind of pushed me towards not just concentrating on one research domain, but it pushed me into thinking, okay, well, what if we could kind of put this all together, the genetics with the brain imaging, with understanding the environment? As I started recruiting people to work with me and collaborators, stepping outside my own field was just loads of fun and really interesting. And that's how this Center for Interdisciplinary Brain Sciences Research really got started and named. The contact among collaboration between and joint work is essential for us to make progress on these conditions. I hope that the value of my research to human health is if you are treating a disease or a disease mechanism specifically, you can potentially treat it much, much more effectively than trying to treat individual symptoms. The other part of this is that some of this work may be applicable not only for treatment but for prevention. I'm not kidding myself that I think by the time I leave this field that it's going to be a brand new day. I think the transition is going to be challenging and at times painful in the field, but there's so much morbidity and mortality associated with mental health and it's getting worse. So there's lots of motivation and lots of reasons to make things better. The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University. Please visit us at med.stanford.edu.